Denton police released surveillance images of a Memorial Day stabbing that injured a veteran. It happened during a robbery at a 7-Eleven. You can see one of them wearing a blue, this blue skull mask during the robbery and stabbing. All three suspects have now been arrested. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager live at the Denton Police Department with the update. Peyton. Heather and Denton police tell me surveillance video from inside and outside the gas station captured the stabbing and the suspect vehicle taking off. That clerk, the victim, is now out of the hospital and at home recovering. I spoke with a coworker today. He tells me that clerk has worked at the 7-Eleven here in Denton for almost 10 years. This newly released surveillance image shows two masked men holding a 7-Eleven employee at knife point in the early morning hours of Memorial Day. Investigators tell Fox 4, 20-year-old Julian Bastios is on the right of the screen with a blue mask. He's seen with a glove on his left hand and a knife in his right hand. Police say Bustios is the one who repeatedly stabbed the 62-year-old convenience store clerk a military veteran who has worked at the 7-Eleven off Teasley Lane for nearly a decade. 20-year-old Ryan Alvarez is on the left, shirtless with his face covered. According to police, Bustios and Alvarez stole cash, vape products, and a case of beer, and then left the clerk with multiple stab wounds to the stomach. Moments before the robbery, surveillance video caught the getaway driver, 20-year-old Edgar Cuevas, messing with the license plate. The three suspects took off in this dark-colored sedan. Wednesday morning, Denton police spotted the suspect vehicle, leading to the arrest of all three without incident. Bustios of Denton was transferred from the Denton City Jail to Denton County Jail Thursday and now faces an aggravated robbery charge. According to public records, Alvarez, who is from Argyle, was arrested for driving while intoxicated in summer of 2023. Cuevas from Crum has a lengthy criminal history, including continuous violence against the family, violating bond and evading arrest. Bustios has a bond set at $75,000. Again, he remains in the Denton County Jail. The other two, Alvarez and Cuevas, they remain in the city jail. Their bonds have not been set yet.